Wagwan beautiful people, I am Chef B. If you're new to this channel, welcome Wagwan. For today's video, I will be working with hair from omgqueen.com. And this is their Yaki Textured Bob Wig that I received. It is in 18 inches, it's pre-plucked, the lace is already bleached for you guys. You know I love me a quick, easy wig, like something effortless, something everybody, anybody, can just style effortlessly and I'm all here for this wig I love that it's a yaki texture because it mimics like you know where natural hair if it's straightened so we're all here for the natural look okay so you guys know already with my pea head um, I am not going to do the ball cap method this is supposed to be an effortless wig and also um, yeah guys you see my eyelashes like I need to remove this <laughs> this lace before yeah it gets all stuck in my lashes also it's already a center parted wig but i'm feeling more like a side parts type of situation you feel me and also i feel like the lace is a little bit too light so i went ahead off camera to just darken my lace if you guys want to see how i tint my lace i created my own lace tint you can buy lace tint but if you want to create your own i made a video on that i'll leave the link down below for you guys and um, as I said, this wig is supposed to be effortless. It's a glueless wig. So I'm putting in minimum effort as possible because you know, like I love me an easy, lazy girl method. So basically, if I'm gonna be honest, I'm only gonna tap down this side of the wig. I like to take off my wigs at night. Like I don't sleep on wigs, this. I like to be free. So after I spray the got to be freezing spray, I just wrap the hair or wrap a silk silk scarf around my hair and guys excuse the whiteness on the hair like i didn't realize that the comb at first had like dried up edge control like i told you guys about this edge control like you can see like this is how we got my hair looking imagine that edge control in my actual hair like yeah <sighs> god that was a mouthful so i'm gonna take my flat iron to try to flatten this side and oh girl that flat iron is hot like i felt it through the wig on my scalp so please be careful and i put it to the maximum heat which was 450 because as i said it was a center part wig and i'm trying to get it to be a side part without like flipping up and looking too bumpy and all of that so i had to make sure that it stayed like laid sis laid so i'm just taking a tweezer plucking it somewhat just to get the the parting a little bit wider since naturally it's not parted on this side but as you guys can see like this wig is effortless in wherever and however you want to part it it is a 4.5 inch parting space um on the front of the lace the scalp part of the wig and yeah so basically at first i was gonna go for a like a blunt cut looking type of bob and then i'm like you know what girl we're gonna we're going to do the black girl bump okay i'm like you know what whatever we're gonna do that because i think it would look nice with the cut and style of this yaki textured wig like it's supposed to look natural so yeah so if you guys see a little bit of bump in the back of my head like i don't mind the bump and also that's the shape of my pea size head like i got a problem with it you can wear your wig super flat like yes yeah, that's that on that and if i haven't exaggerated the info on this here for you guys everything that you will need will be in the description box below along with a code for the website to get some percentage off it's chef Five. again that will all be in the description box so i'm just taking a little bit of my um foundation or powder or whatever just to give the parting a little bit more of a natural scalp look especially to just blend with how my makeup is already done and that is basically it for the wig you can style it however you like tweeze it up fix it up do, do however you like if you're interested in my makeup look i'm gonna post a natural not natural like i don't know if you call this natural this is natural for me like an everyday type of look makeup look or my everyday type of makeup look if i haven't posted it already i'll leave the link down below for you guys and that is all remember to follow me on instagram snapchat and twitter 
at Dam Dashev. If you haven't subscribed to the channel as yet, like what are you waiting for? Go on ahead and subscribe down below so you can get more videos like this. Also, remember to spam the comment section down below. Share the video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Go on, be good for yourself. Bye, guys.